Hello. So this little video, it's gonna be short. I've been messing around with uh, writing an R package to create uh, add-ins for RStudio that interface with the OpenAI API. And uh, that should allow uh, a little bit of, you know, I guess interaction between text that you have inside of RStudio and uh, so you could send it to OpenAI and get responses back. So you can basically uh, use chat GPT like things right in your editor if you follow a strategy like this. Uh, so what I wanted to do is just show some examples and, and talk about how I got this to work. Uh, here we are inside our studio. I've got a, our Markdown document open. I've already got this package that I wrote called GPT add-in installed. And so what that means is if I select some text like this and I click on add-ins, I should go down and see all the add-ins I have here. So I'm gonna click the line editor add-in and uh, what I have this one do is it, it takes whatever text I've selected and it sends it to OpenAI, in this case to a chat GPT 3.5 turbo model with some special prompts for editing. And then it uh, produces some suggested edits, which I'll just kind of paste in here if I wanted to think about them. So this is taken this text and uh, given some su suggested edits for it. We've got a points to prose add-in uh, this one, you highlight text with, you know, point form that you have. And if you click the points to prose, this one should expand the points into some long form prose. See how good it does. I haven't actually tried this yet. It's not super fast, I think, but it's, you know, reasonably fast to wait for these things. Okay, so this returned uh, a lot more text. I'm not sure how useful this would be really in practice, but there we go. There's an example of uh, going from these point form to these long form. You can go the reverse. So I, I did a summarize main points plugin. What I, what I have here is just an abstract from something I wrote in a in a paper. And we could click the summarize main points add in and wait for uh, the response and we'll get some point form version of this abstract in the console that you might want to use for something i don't know let's see let's copy that out i'm not going to bother reading this to see if it's worth my time but um, the point here is just to show some of the functionality of these add-ins uh, there's a few more. The last one I'll talk about here is called uh, chat to doc. All the ones above were taking text, sending it to OpenAI through their API and taking the output and putting it into this console here. Um, that seems probably, I guess, I don't know. If I was actually editing something, I'm not really sure where I want the suggested text to go. It, it's useful to have it down here in the console so I can look at it and then decide if I want to put it into the document or not. I'm messing around with having the text from the model just go right back into the document. So that's what this one does. If you select text here like this, explain how many cats it takes to wake someone up in the morning for breakfast. We could do chat to doc. And uh, this time we will wait for the output, but it should be taking the output and putting it right back into the document here. And so there's the output from the model and it's right in, right in there. Okay, so that's some examples of using these add-ins in our studio. Uh, you know, I'm sharing this kind of, it's just a personal project of mine. You might be able to use this strategy if you find it useful. And I'll um, make some 
links to how I did this in the video. Um, I've got a, all the code on a GitHub repository here and I'm writing about how I uh, did all of this on this blog post. I can briefly show you what's going on in our studio here. Uh, this is the GPT add-in package. It's um, a really basic R package skeleton. These are the major things you get when you create a, a bare bones R package. And uh, the important stuff is in the R folder. This is where the add-ins are, the add-in functions are written. So I've got that open here. We can check out individual functions or you, you could check this out by going to the, uh, the GitHub link here. Um, if we were to look at any given function, they're all pretty much the same. I'm using the RStudio API library to, uh, which what it does is it, whenever you've selected text in, in RStudio, um, this function allows you to grab that text. Uh, so for the line editor function, what happens is we get the text you've selected and then I'm using the OpenAI library, which is a wrapper to the OpenAI API. And here's a function that uh, basically sends a uh, prompt to the GPT 3.5 turbo model. Uh, in this case, you can give it uh, a system prompt. So I've created this prompt here that says you're an editorial writing assistant. Your task is to edit the content you receive for improved clarity flow and reduced word count. You should respect the original style of the input text and use an active voice. And then uh, I'm just sending it whatever text was selected in our studio and printing out the response of the model to the console. And what's neat about this is you can, you know, uh, write your own functions here in this add-ins file, uh, change the system prompt set for ones that you want to have. So I've, I've got a few different ones that I'm trying out. Other little detail is you need to have uh, an inst folder and an RStudio folder inside there where we have what's called an addins.dcf. And this is where we register individual functions uh, to be add-ins. And what this means is if you've got a valid R package uh, going on with those basic components, when you install this R package um, and then go to the add-ins menu, you'll see all the add-ins from this package there. All right, that's pretty much it. Uh, if this is useful, great. Uh, you could use a strategy like this to send text from our studio to open AI and back. Uh, one other little detail I'll mention is pricing. Uh, in order to do this, you'll need to have an open AI account that would allow you to have a secret API key. I talk about that in this blog post here. There's you can check out the pricing on uh, the OpenAI website. So for example, for the GPT 3.5 turbo model, it's um, this much for a thousand tokens and that's about 750 words. Uh, I was doing a little bit of napkin calculation here and to spend $10 a month, you'd have to do 3.75 million words, you know, that's a lot. Uh, I've been using this pretty heavily in the past two days while developing these things, and I spent about five cents. So, uh, you know, it for personal use, you might not have to spend too much money to get all this stuff working. All right, that's it. I think I'm done. Now I'm going to press stop on the record button. And almost there. Gonna do it. See you later.